Warning. The following recording contains references to self-harm and sexual abuse. If these things trigger you or make you feel unsafe, please do not listen any further. On today's episode uh, of My Immortal, will Ebony succeed in seducing Lord Voldemort back in time? Will she be able to go forward in time? And will Tim Poole ever get the attention of Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez after years of pathetic attempts? Two out of three of these questions will be answered on today's episode of My Immortal. Chapter 31 Arthur's Note I said shut the fuck up, who quiffs 111. Stop calling Ebony a Mary Sue, okay? Oh, do not even know what's going to happen, okay? So fuck who 1111. Thanks to my BFF Raven for die help 1111. I always knew you were on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitka, Buffy rocks, one, 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 Sirius said to Snape. No, I'm not, I was teaching them something, Snape clammed. Oh, fucking yeah, I took some black Voldemort serum out of my pocket and gave it to Cerverus. He made Snap drink it. He did angrily. Then Luscious took out a tape recorder and started playing it while he did curses on Snap. Then Professor Sinister and Lucian made us get out with them while Snape told his secrets. Lucian took Vampure and Draco to the nurse, after thanking me a million times. Professor Trevelry took me to a dark room. Now I was going to go back in time to seduce Volksimort. Moving posters of MCR and Nirvana were all over. Her moin, Darkness and Willow came too. Beludi Mary gave me a black bag from Tom Ridd's store. What's in the bag? I asked Professor Trevelry. Who will see? She said. I opened the bag. In it was a sexy, tight, low smut, black leather gothic dress. It had red corset stuff and there was a slit up the leg. I put it on. My friends helped me put on black fishnets and pointy black boots. Willow had chosen. Willow in Darkness helped me put on black eyeliner and blood-red lipstick. You look fucking kawaii, bitch, B. Ludi Mary said. Fangs, I said. Okay, now you're going to go back in Tim, said Professor Sinister. Who will have to do it in a few sessions? She gave me a black gun, and I put it in a strap on my fishnets like in Red Is Net Evil. Then she gave me a black time tuner. After an hour, use the time torner to get back here, Professor Trevelry said. Then she and Bloody Mary put a pensive in front of me. Everyone went in front of it. Good luck, one. Everyone shooted. Darkness and Willow gave me death's touch sin. Then I jumped sexily into the pensive. Suddenly, I was in front of the school. In front of me was one of the sexiest goth guys I had ever seen. He was wearing long black hair, kind of like Mikey Way, only black. He had grin eyes like Billy Joe Armstrong. And pale with skin, he was wearing a black ripped-up suit with vans. It was Tom Bombadil, one, 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 one. Oh boy, what a return. Notes for chapter 31. Uh, one, 
Snape is not on Voldemort's side. He's a double agent. Two, points to Terra, though, for nailing Sirius's suspicion towards Snape. Three, what the hell is Voldemort serum? There is a truth serum in Harry Potter, but it's not called Voldemort serum. Four, okay, time turners are really inconvenient to use. It can only take you back in time, and you have to press it once for each hour you want to go back. So you have to know the exact time that you want to go back so that you can hit it once for each hour. To go back to when Voldemort was at, was at Hogwarts in the 30s and 40s, you'd have to press it thousands, possibly millions of times. This plan is flat out stupid. And again, time turners are great for when you have to go back like one or two hours when you can just wait to catch back up to regular time. But going back years, you're going to be stuck there. Five. So now Tara is referring to the time turner as a pensive? A pensive is basically a storage space for memories. You can go into your memories and observe them for greater scrutiny, but you can't interact with your surroundings. Similar to watching a movie or a sporting event on TV. It's not like going back in time where you can interact with your surroundings and change things, which is what Tara is trying to do. Six. A time-turner takes you back in time to the spot where you're currently standing. Ebony wouldn't suddenly be in front of the school. Seven. Okay, I've had it. This is a troll. She just referred to Lord Voldemort's younger self, Tom Riddle, as Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil is a largely unknown character from the Lord of the Rings books who makes no appearance in the movies. This eliminates all possibility of this being a sincere fanfiction in my mind. This is a troll, pure and simple. That being said, this is still funny to read, and I've gotten this far, so I'm going to keep going. Chapter 32. Arthur's note. I said stop framming. I know his name isn't Tom Bodil. That was a mistake. One, 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 one. If you do not lick the story, then you can go screw yourself. One, 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 one. You suck. One, 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 one. Hi. I said flirtily. I'm in Nobby Way. The new student. I shock my pale hands with their black noil polish with him. The name's Tom, he said, but who can call me Satan? That's my middle name. We shock hands. Well, come on. We have to go upstairs, Satan said. I followed him. Hey, Satan. Do you happen to be a fan of Grande, since MCR and Evanescence don't exist yet, then? I asked. Oh my fucking god, how did you know? Satan gasped. Actually, I like GC a lot, too. Get it? Cause GC did that song, I Just Wanna Live, that sounded really 80s. Oh my god, me too, I replied happily. Guess what, they have a concert in Hogsment, Satan whispered. Hogsment? I asked. Yeah, that's what they used to call it in these time, before it became Hogsmeade in 2000. He told me secretively. And there's a really cool shop called Hot Topic, I finished. Happy again, he frowned confusedly. No, it's called Hot Issue. He smiled scrutinously again. Then in 1998, they changed it to Hot Topic. Oh, sorry, no. Then in 1998, they changed it to Hot Topic. He moaned. Oh, now everything was making sense for me. So is, uh, Dumbledore your prince pill? I shouted. Uh-huh, he said, looked at his black nails. Im in Slytherin. Oh my fucking god, Shmee too! I shrieked. 
Who go to this skull? Get it, cause I'm gothic? He asked. Yeah, that's why I'm here, I'm new! I smelled happily. Suddenly, Dumbledore flew in on his broomstick and started shredding at us angrily. No talking in the holes! He had short blonde hair and was wearing a polo shirt from American Ogle Outfitters. Stupid goofs! Satan rolled his eyes. He's so mean to us goths and punks, just because we're in Slytherin and we're not preps. I turned around angrily. Actually, I think maybe it is because who are the Barky Lord? What the fuck? He asked angrily. Oh, nothing, I said sweetly. Then suddenly, the floor opened. Oh, my fucking God, no! I screamed as I fell down. Everyone looked at me weirdly. Hey, where are you going? Satan asked as I fell. I got out of the hole, and I was back in the pensive in Professor Trevory's classroom. What the hell? Dumbledum was there. Dumbledore, I think I just met Ooh, I said. Oh, yeah, I remember that, Dumbledore said, trying to be all gothic. Sinister came in. Hey, this is my classroom. Wait, what's the fuck, Inobi? What's the hell are you doing? Um, I looked at her. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. What the hell, how? I screamed, forgetting she was a teacher for a second, but she's guff, so it's okay. Professor Sinster looked sad. Um, I was drinking Voldemort serum. She started to cry black tears of depression. Dumbledum didn't know about them. Hey, are you crying tears of blood? He asked curiously, touching a tear. Fuck off, we both said, and Dumbledum took his hand away. Professor Sinster started crying again in her chair, sobbing limpid tears. Oh my fucking god, Inobi, I think I'm addicted to Voldemort serum. Arthur's not. See you fucking preps go fucker sucks that serious issues twenty go to hell one 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 two guys I I think Tara is starting to lose lose it. Let me just start off by saying that uh if the Necronomicon was a real book I think it would just be this fan fiction. This is truly a tome of madness. All right, 12 notes for chapter 32. One, Voldemort's real name is Tom Marvalo Riddle, which then scattered spells out I am Lord Voldemort. His name is not Tom Satan Bombadil, but that's totally going to be the title of this episode. Two, Voldemort went to Hogwarts during the 1930s and 40s. Green Day didn't exist yet either. It, it was established in 1987. 3. God, even in the past they had concerts in Hogsmeade. 4. Wait, how does Voldemort know about Hogsmeade changing its name in 2000? Also, Hogsmeade was never called Hogsment. 5. Same point on the hot topic front. 6. Dumbledore wasn't headmaster back when Voldemort attended Hogwarts. He was just another teacher. But Voldemort was scared, scared of Dumbledore, because Dumbledore could see that he was going down a dangerous path towards the dark side. 7. Dumbledore isn't blonde. When he was younger, his hair was as red as any Weasley. 8. Dumbledore isn't mean to Slytherins, though considering that House's tendency to turn out what are essentially... Wizarding neo-Nazis, maybe he should be more harsh to you guys. Slytherin is basically the 4chan of Hogwarts. 9. Why would Ebony tell Voldemort that he's going to become the Dark Lord? It... 
isn't her whole reason for going back in time to stop him from becoming evil? Ten? Huh? Ebony fell through a hole and was suddenly back in the present? How the hell does that work? Eleven. Why is Professor Sinister asking Ebony what she's doing in her office? Ebony literally just went back in time. The way this typically works is that if someone goes back in time, if their mission is successful, you can usually expect them back within a few seconds. Twelve. Voldemort serum makes you tell the truth and is addictive? What the hell am I even reading? Oh boy. Two down, one to go. Chapter 33. Arthur's note. I said shut up. It's not my fault, okay? If I don't lick the story, then aura prep so fuck all flammers. One, 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 one. P.S. I'm not updating up till you give me five god reviews. Mm, this Tim, I mean it. One, 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 one. Oh, suck. One, 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 one. Fangs, Raven, for thy help. Ill promise to help you with our story, lulls one. Oh my fucking god! One, I shoot it sadly. Should we get you to Saint Manga's bitch? Hell no, she said. Listen, Egegi, I need your help. Next, Tim. You go back in Tim, do you think you could ask Tom Andorson for some help? Sure, I said sadly. I went outside the door. Draco was there, one, one, one. He was wearing a big black GC t-shirt, which was his pajamas. Hey, sexy, I said. How'd it go, Annaby? he asked. His voice was so sexy and low, kinda like Gerard Way when he's talking. Fine, I reponded. We started to go back into the dorm. How far did you go with Satan? Wait, how does he know that Voldemort's middle name is Satan? Uh, Draco asked jealously. Not too far. Lol, I borked. Will you have to do it with him? Draco asked angstily. I hope not too far, one, one, one. I shouted angrily. Then I felt bad for shooting at him. I said sorry. We flinched. What happened to Snipe? I growled. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Draco giggled mistressly. He opened a door. Snap and Lumpkin was there, one one. Sirius was pokering them by staging them with a black niff. Now pulls one 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 one. Lumpkin bagged as Sirius started to soak his blood. I laughed statistically. I talked some photons of him and Snap being torqued. Okay, I know this is men, but think about it, people. They are pedals, and Snap tried to wrap them. And anyway, said Rock, has anyone seen Shrek Attack 3 walls? We took some of Snipe's blood. Then Draco and I went back to our rooms. We sat in my guffig black coffin. My clothes were kinda dritty, so I pot on a black leather outfit thingy, kind of like the one Suleen has in Andre World. If you haven't heard of it, then fuck oo one one one. I put on some black platform high heels. Darko put on Desolation Livers by MCR. Then 
We started to take off each other's clothes. I talk off his shit. I talk off his shit. And he had a six-pack lulls. We started to mack out like in the grudge. He pot his wetness into my you-know-what. Sexily, I got an orgy. Ah, uh, Jacob! Uh, one, 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 one. Ah, uh, me fucking good! Jacob! Uh, one, 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 one. I screamed passively as he got an eructation. I love Uta Ebory, he whispered sexily, and then we fell asleep. Lol. So, uh, review for chapter 33. Five notes. One, is his name Tom Satan Bombadil or Tom Anderson? Fucking pick one already. Two, why is Sirius torturing Lupin? He had nothing to do with Snape's collaboration with Voldemort earlier. He literally wasn't there. Three, Sirius and Lupin are good friends. Sirius would never torture him. Four, Sirius is also not a vampire. Though, come to think of it, the name Sirius Black does sound like the kind of name that a vampire would use. Five. Draco almost referred to Ebony as Terra. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, please stay safe out there. COVID is coming back with a vengeance, and young people are really starting to get it a lot. So, duck and cover until this blows over, alright? Alright. Talk to you guys soon. I'll let a uh, gravelly voice guy take it from here. On the next episode of My Immortal, Snap and Lumpkin get deported to a former Soviet republic in the Caucasus Mountains. I am not making that up. Ebony goes back in Tim again and goes on her first date with the dashing Tom... Satan Bombadil. All this and much, much more on the next episode of My Immortal.